Welcome to the AIM LearnFast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This AIM Sports LearnFast training module is using the selection criteria function in Race Studio 2. After you have been downloading data into your Race Studio software for several track visits, the number of tests in your test database will begin to grow. While the default is for your latest downloaded test to be at the top of the list, finding a test from a month or two ago or even last year can sometimes present a challenge. However, finding a specific test in the database can be made very easy with the selection criteria function. Certainly you can scroll up and down using the elevator bar here in the test database, or you can also sort the data in ascending and descending values by clicking on any of these column headers. As an example, select the test date column header. As you can see here, the entire database has now been sorted with the oldest test at the top of the list. Each column works this same way. Now let's resort the data by again selecting the test data column header. And again, the tests in the database are sorted with the newest tests at the top of the list. Now let's talk about the even more powerful selection criteria function. As you can see here, the selection criteria function is unchecked and not active. This is further demonstrated as each of the filter selections are grayed out and not accessible. To turn on the function, select the Use Selection Criteria checkbox. The function is now ready to use. As we can see here, we have five different filters we can use to quickly show us the tests we want to see. These are the track properties and they are tracks, vehicles, drivers, championships, and test types. Each of these criteria has been or should have been established for the test in the database as the test was downloaded from the data logger. Here is the download dialog panel that is presented each time you download a test. For the selection criteria function to work correctly, this is an important step that you need to make sure you take a few seconds to enter all of the test properties correctly. If you did not fill out the test properties during the download process or you need to edit them, you can do this at any time by highlighting the test and then clicking on the Test Properties button. To begin filtering the test shown, click on any of these selection buttons. We will start with the Select Track button. This will open the Track Selection window. This shows all of the tracks that have been included in the test properties for tests in your database. We want to select the Watkins Glen track and since the items in the list are sorted alphabetically, we can just use the elevator bar and scroll down to near the end of the list. When we find Watkins Glen, select the track and click the OK button. The result is that the selection criteria function has filtered the data down and is now only showing us 13 tests because the only tests that will be shown are tests that meet all five of the criteria shown. If we want to filter the data even more, we can add another criteria. To do this, click on the Select Vehicle button. This opens the vehicle selection window. In this selection window, as well as the others, you are not limited to just a single choice you can select as many items from the list as you want. In this case, we will select the AIM test car vehicle by scrolling down until we find it. And there it is. Now select the AIM test car item and click on the OK button. As we can see here, in this database we have only three tests that have the test properties of Watkins Glen and AIM test car. To open the test, it is the same as any other time. Select the Watkins Practice 1 test and then click on the Open Test button. And you have quickly found the test from earlier in the year and opened it. As you get more and more tests, the selection criteria will save you a lot of time, but you need to make sure that when you download your data from your data logger, you complete your test properties when prompted. This ends the Using Selection Criteria function in Race Studio 2 LearnFast video. For more AIMSports LearnFast e-training content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, please visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIMSports products when and where you want it.